Welcome to Knights of the Roundtable with our new sponsor, Farm Bureau Insurance. Mr. Maurer, your agent. Well, we've done something a little bit different today. Today we've gone to the boys basketball practice and basically today's show is going to be boys basketball and we'll be talking to all the seniors and uh, also with us today is, as usual is panelist Mark Kirkhoff and panelist Rick Fletcher. And in the middle you see here is uh, Raiden Faust, as I affectionately call him, the mayor of Dunktown. And that was after a worldwide survey. Yes. Okay, so that, that name was by far the most common name that came up. So Raiden, we, we'd like to welcome you here. Yes, thank you. Who well, wants to get started? Yeah, who wants to get started? We can, I'll, I'll, we'll, we gotta work our ways out. And uh, Raiden, we'll just start off and saying, how ready are you to play your, your senior year of high school with a couple of guys that have started alongside you for a couple of years now? Yeah, I'm very excited. We got our next first scrimmage uh, next week. Ready to play with my guys. Oh, good. Well, um, motivation. I've been told that you've gotten motivated this year because of not being on the first team all TEC, and you're motivating yourself to become the TEC Player of the Year. Give us a little insight behind uh, behind that. Yeah, that's definitely a, a motivator for me. I uh, felt like last year it didn't go as I planned, so this year, whoever. So, so Ray, you don't just show up here on school, uh, first day of school and start playing basketball. You're pretty much year round. You're doing something. Tell us about what you're doing. Yeah, something. all year I'm playing games, AAU, traveling, pretty yeah. much all the time. And where where do you go? Where are some places you've been? Uh, we've been down to uh, Kentucky, Michigan. Uh, play a lot in Fort Wayne. Yeah, so that gives you good exposure to other places, other players. Yes, for sure. All right, so you're, it's, there's no secret here, you're 6'8". Yes. All right? We love to see you dunk. All right, when we're up in the, team, in the broadcasting booth, we, we go crazy when we see you take a dunk. So what does that do when you come down and you jam that ball? How does that make you feel? Uh, I honestly can't even explain it. It's just like a brush of adrenaline, I guess, is the best way to put it. And then you see the crowd go crazy. <laughs> you, know, you like to get those fans on, on your seat, on, on, their, on their feet. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, we, we love seeing that. So you've made a lot of progress. You know, you've been, you're a three-year starter, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, but uh, so your game has really picked up in the last couple of years. What do you attribute that to? Um, just... Playing honestly and skills work with Jerry that helped too. Yeah, a lot of hard work. Yeah. All right, your mom is great about posting these things on Facebook, by the way. Yeah. So we, we love the moms out there. They they bring their kids out to the social media, so we love to see that. Well, I'll I'll follow up and just say with all this um, improvement and motivation and kind of working year round, and we've kind of talked before about um, the college and the recruiting. Uh, can you just maybe tell us so that other people can see and hear from you kind of what that's been like for you and, and kind of um, what you like, what, what you see coming out of the college interest? Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. Um, I just, whatever I can play at the next level, that's fine with me. Any preference in what you want to study, or have you got that far yet? I'm not that far You're yet. You're just a senior in high school. Yeah. You don't know, know that yet. Yeah. That's pretty normal. So, Jerry, you got some questions. Right, right. In you have, un, unlike a lot of high school basketball players, you can play with your back to the bucket, which is a great advantage. And then you can also shoot the perimeter too. Uh, I think that that's going to be a strong point, especially when it comes into college recruiting, that you can do a couple different things, and, and that's a big deal. Because those colleges don't want a one-dimensional player. They need people with multiple dimensions. Um, where would you rather play? Underneath or out? Um, it's just who's guarding me, pretty much. So whether I play inside or out. So if Kirkhoff was guarding you, where would you be? <laughs> 
Uh, Wherever he wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'd maybe go outside one. Oh, outside? Okay, because you can't push the big guy around, huh? Right. All right. That, don't move past me really quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, anything else, Mark? No, I just, Raiden, good luck on the yeah. year. We're, we're excited to see you back on the court and uh, with the other seniors that we'll talk to here in a bit. And I've got, um, I've got one question I'm going to ask all the kids that come up here today. Is there any secrets you want to tell us about Coach Ross? Do you have one thing that you can uh, just share with us here that nobody else is going to know? I don't think I have anything. All right. Honestly. Nobody think... wants to share. That's yeah. a good answer. <laughs> good answer. All right. Well, the, we've been uh, with Raiden Faust this morning, and we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll have Ben Deitch. Kick it. Thank you. Guys. Welcome our new sponsor, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, Brian Maurer, agent. Give him a call for all your insurance needs. There's no reason to knock on wood. Welcome back to Nice of the Roundtable. And with us now is uh, senior Ben Deitch. Ben, glad you can make it this morning. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for having me. Well, what do we got? Some questions for Ben here this morning. And I'm going to start off just because it's, it's what we talked with Coach Ross when we got um, into the building this morning. But Ben, is he's going to be a third-year starter. And he is often the guy that facilitates our transition, our secondary break. And right now, we know that um, his goal is kind of be second in all-time assists and to break the single-season assist record. Yep. Yeah? Is that, that's correct, right? Yes, sir. So kind of talk us through kind of your mindset of getting ready for the season and what you feel like you need to be able to do as a senior to try to reach those goals. I mean, in practice, it's just working as hard as we can, getting, I mean, assists, I can't get them by myself. We got to work on feeding the post, pushing the ball, so my teammates can be there for me and I can get them the ball when they need it. Ben, so what did you see your role as? Um, I'm the point guard, so I got to be there if somebody, I mean, if somebody's open, I get them the ball. I'm not, I mean, if I'm open, try to score but my my job is to get people the ball when they need it and when our team needs it and I need to take care of it. So I see you as kind of the general out there on the yeah. floor kind of directing traffic and putting people where they need to be. So that means you're not just taking care of your own self of your position. You have to know what everybody else is doing. Yeah, I mean all of our plays I need to know all five spots to know where everybody is. Yeah. And that's the that's the role of the of the point guard. So what is your what are your hopes for this year? What are your dreams and hopes? You can dream big if you want. Obviously, the number one goal is the state championship. Yeah. I mean, the season split into four different parts. Centerville is the big, the big thing in the first part of the season. Then the holiday tournament, the county tournament. Then we got all of our conference games separated right at the end of the season. And then it's time to make our big state run. Right out of Brent Ross's mouth is what you just said. He's a good coach. You got to yeah. listen to him. All right. Well, uh, quick question. If you're going to own the point, in fact, we're going to start calling him the general now. Yeah, the general. The general. So on a point, on a, on a missed shot, which hardly ever happens, um, in the transition back, what's your first responsibility defensively? I mean, it's to just talk be as loud as you can, you know who's picking up the ball, know who's open on the fast break, so, so they don't get a wide open layup. You got, you got another question here? I, I'm, I'm having a couple more. Just, All right. Uh, do you have the privilege with being a point guard with probably playing with one of the tallest teams in Northeastern history? I mean, talk to us. I mean, how easy does that make your job? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I come down the court, nobody's open, you just throw it up. <laughs> you got Peyton Lumpkin and Braden Faust, two seniors I've been playing with since eighth grade. Yeah, I mean, they're just. You give it to them inside, there's, they're going to make the shot. And I think they are both in the top ten in percentage group, percentage for field goals. Yeah. So, um, obviously, that connection's been working pretty well for the past couple of years. Yes, so indeed. Is, so, on the defensive end, I mean, I've watched you over the years from a freshman. As a freshman, you've got a lot of playing time. I can remember in the Shannon, when we played Shenandoah in the regional, you were out there at critical moments at the time. So, for a young kid... That's that's a that's a good accomplishment. So defensively, that seems to be what you yeah. that's your game right there. Yeah, I mean I take pride in my defense. That our whole team does. That's 
that's what our bread and butter is. We play hard-nosed defense, always have to put in the effort. If you play hard-nosed defense, it goes right into offense. So as, as a senior, all right, you're looked at as you're a leader, okay? You're a leader. You get a lot of young kids also out there that are going to contribute to your yeah. team. So what do you see your role as bringing those kids up? A lot, a lot of tradition here at Northeastern yeah. now. I mean, it's just making sure they're comfortable with their role. They know that if they have any questions, they can come to me in practice. And I'll explain it to them in the middle of a drill. And then if they mess up, they know that I'm not going to be the one to yell at them. I'll be there, tell them it's all right, and then they get the drill the next time. So I've got one more thing, and I, I don't want to hog the time here, but again, what we've all noticed here, you're a fiery guy out there on the floor. All right, speak to that. Tell us why. what it means. Uh, we've seen a techni technical or two over the years. I actually have zero technical. Oh, you do? Yep. Oh, okay. Maybe we thought you should yeah, have had one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a couple warnings. but You've I had mean, some conversations yes. with referees. It's so just, just mean, friendly conversations. Yeah, I mean, if if I get upset on the court, it's not at my teammates. It's at myself for being – it's because I care about, like, I want to be there for my team to be successful for them, to meet our goals. Like, it's, it's not about me. It's not about Raven. It's not about Peyton. It's about our team as a whole, because in 10 years when we come back, it's not going to be about individual accolades. It's going to be what we accomplish as a team. Yeah, you can take those memories with you forever. Yeah. Well, Mark, you, are you going to ask? Yeah, we'll, we'll ask, we'll ask, ask the question. We'll ask the big question. Um, and I won't disagree that you may be the emotional leader on the court as well. Um, and and for, for, for a couple of years now, uh, has there ever been a foul that you, in your mind, that you've really committed? Maybe a couple. Uh, but from now on, if it's a foul, it's a foul. The ref, the ref cannot be wrong. <laughs> well, Ben, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it, and good luck this season. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So we'll take a quick break, and we'll come back with uh, senior Peyton Lumpkin. Welcome our new sponsor, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, Brian Maurer Agent. Give him a call for all your insurance needs. There's no reason to knock on wood. Welcome back to Knights of the Round Table. We now have senior Peyton Lumpkin. Peyton, thanks for joining us this oh, morning. You're very welcome. Well, basketball season is getting ready to start. Now here's one thing I've, I've said many times. You take, or at least attempt to take, more offensive fouls than anybody I have ever seen in 43 years of referee in basketball. Yeah. Which is impressive. My cousin, Alex Reynolds, he was, no, he was like me. And I asked him one day, what should I do? And he said, tech offensive foul. That won't be you. Yeah, now Alex, that's funny you mentioned that, because Alex, he'd step in there and take them. Yeah. And he'd get brutally beat to death trying to take yeah, offensive fouls. Yeah, at the end of the season, I had bruises all over my arms. <laughs> it's, it's, they're, Twice as big as they are now, but it's bruises. Well, that's that's the one thing that really impresses me about you. Is that you'll step in here and take that, and that's a that's a uh, that's a big part of the game because if, if that happens, not only do you take the ball away from them, you also put a foul on probably their point guard or at least a wingman yeah. on that, and so that's that could be that's a huge turnaround. Sometimes it's one of their best players. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, it's a momentum changer in the game, too. Oh, I, don't, yeah, I don't know how many times that we've seen you take a charge. Which, by the way, if we kept charge stats, you would have to be the TEC all-time leader in charges taken. Coach owes me about, like, 100 milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> you got that, Brent, 100 milkshakes. Go. To the man what flavor? Here. What flavor? Um, are we gonna, we're going to mix it up with 100? Oh, gonna, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. But uh, last year, I think, you, I think you ended up with taking 12 offensive fouls. Something like that. I, I can't almost, keep track almost anymore. won a game. I mean, that's that's big. So, anyway, well, I'm probably one of them. Besides taking charges, you don't really take bad shots. No, all my shots are around the hole. In fact, you are the all-time single-season record holder for field goal percentage, and you're second in career. So, and I think part of that is, like you said, you take close shots. Yep. But. For some reason, you are able to maneuver and move people out of the way and get to the basket. How, how does that work? I really don't know. It's just my, it's my brain working out. Sometimes it's bigger than other people. You think being left-handed helps because you're not used to uh, a left-handed person? hundred percent. Peyton, so uh, I want to ask you this. Uh, 
for this year, uh, you think you're going to be relying more to um, have some scoring. We've lost 2,000 point scores from last year's team. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Me and Raiden and Ben, Wes, Keegan, basically the whole front nine. So we relied more. On. A lot more ball distribution, mm -hmm. probably. Um, so you're known for tough defense. I mean, we we see you play. You've been this is your third year as a starter. You started as a sophomore, junior, and now you're a senior. Okay, your your hallmark is that tough inside defense. Mm -hmm. So what goes into that in your mentality and how you approach the game? Well, sometimes I just. I don't let anyone score. I don't like when other people score, especially on me. I, I don't like it. And I've been big on help defense my whole high school career. I, Coach puts me, he knows that, so he puts me on the guy who doesn't score a lot, so I can help. Okay. And also I've noticed in the past, uh, you're probably, what, 6'3", somewhere in there. Um, a lot of times, Ross, Coach Ross would put you on their 6'8 guy. Yeah. You know, like Peyton Sparks from Winchester last year. You were the man that he went to for defense today. So to talk about that. I mean, it, it's, obviously, there's no intimidation. Nope. Uh, do you have to adjust your game for a guy who basically six inches tall? Yes, I do. I have to move a lot faster. I have to get around him much, a lot faster. And I just got to basically be a lot faster than the guy who's six eight. Yeah, and the physicality of it. Talk about the physicality of having to, you know, put your nose right in there. Oh, you definitely have to be physical. Sometimes I, I'm so wore out by the fourth quarter, I can't even stand sometimes. But I have to keep on going to win. So what are your goals this year? What do you want to see this team accomplish? And what are your hopes and dreams? Oh, state championship. I want to win basically every game we have. I. I just want to go to the state so I can brag on my brother that I'm a brother. <laughs> You've got a lot of family members that have come up through the program. Yes. Yeah. You're still you're playing with your cousin right now, yeah. I think. So. Yeah. And he is a returning all-conference member um, from the basketball team last yep. year. So um, that's something. I, and we talked to Raiden a little bit about um, him kind of not being on that first team all-conference. So is that something... Is it a competition of in practice of who's going to be all conference, or is it you're going to work together to both be all conference? We push each other in practice. We believe that both of us should be on first team all conference, and that's pretty much it. Push each other. Well, Peyton, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. And all your and uh, good luck for the season. And we'll be up there. Uh, cheering you on, hoping you take all the offensive fouls you can, <laughs> because uh, I tell you what, I, I love it, and that's that's a great, that's just great.